To move this last term to the left side of the equation, we should incorporate this JB coefficient into the K matrix where we're going to be multiplying times EZ and N. So that's right here. So we want to incorporate it into the K matrix at the very last node, NN, NN in our K matrix. In other words, we'll have K, NN, NN is equal to what's already there after we put in the KE coefficients. And now we're going to add in, we need the imaginary number, which we can put in as 1i times beta. And then this coefficient, or this value, 2j beta e to the j beta d, should be incorporated into the last term of the B array. So that can stay on the right side of the equation uh, because it doesn't isn't multiplied by the unknown. Go ahead and program the right boundary condition into your FEM code. And next time we will be able to finish the code by solving for the easy values and plotting the results.